take a look outside downtown today. It looks beautiful. We got a little flag flapping in the breeze. Yeah. You would never know we're a 75. I uh, know. It's hard to believe here. We I'm gotta, feeling more like a 12. Yeah. Well, we got to change it, my friend. We'll do our best here in the coming weeks. Uh, yeah. See what we can do. Get out there. Maybe and, go uh, for an afternoon jog. Hit the, hit the canal, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little brisk here, but it's going to be brighter, and that's setting the stage for the pick of the week. We've been talking about Thursday. And look at Old Glory whipping around there. This is up on Morris Reservoir in Cicero. You can see a little bit of blue, but there's still a little mid-level cloud cover. That's going to make it gray from time to time. Traffic moving smoothly at this point in time. We don't have to worry about any road issues, thankfully, in terms of weather. And uh, things will be settling down here, at least in the short run. Downtown, we get that brisk wind, as we mentioned, is 30 with a west-northwest wind at 13 miles per hour. So though we are going to creep into the 40s, it will never feel that warm. And the wind chill remains in the 20s even this afternoon. Visible satellite starting to show the cloud cover, the real thick stuff moving toward the east as we get rid of the flow off of Lake Michigan. We look back west. That's typically where most of our weather comes from. It's nice and quiet over KC and Des Moines. And that's what moves in here overnight and into Thursday to give us a great day. So as we go through the evening and tonight, we're going to be clearing out. We'll let you know what's going to be happening for tomorrow. Uh, kids are going to need the heavy coats in the morning. As you get into work here, uh, we're talking mid-40s for lunchtime, heading home from work and school near 50 degrees so a much better day tomorrow and we're getting ready for the greening of the Indy Canal that's going to be happening between 5 and 6 p.m. if you're heading down enjoy it should be a perfect evening and uh, take some time to enjoy the canal as well here's future track 13 we will take you into tomorrow afternoon pushing 50 degrees or a little bit higher so we're getting ready for the St. Patrick's Day Parade on Friday downtown Indianapolis we start out with some sunshine. Clouds are going to creep in here, and there's a chance across southwestern Indiana, not necessarily the metro area, but from Terre Haute over toward Bloomington and Bedford, even though you're not seeing it on this map. A little shower action or, or wintry mix is a possibility. A better chance of that is going to be Friday night and then during the day on Saturday here. We're going to have anything from snow and sleet at times to a cold rain to maybe a little bit of freezing rain and sleet. Overall, the setup for Saturday is not for real pretty stuff. Let me show you if you are coming down or participating in the St. Patrick's Day Parade Friday in Indianapolis. The block party starts at 10 o'clock. Temperatures are going to be in the 20s, so you're going to need to layer up. The parade starts at 1130, and if you're hanging around, expect the overcast to move in. Now, if you're running in the Shamrock Run and Walk on Saturday between 10 and 5, know that it's going to be a bit raw here as we'll have the wintry mix and showers and temperatures only slowly creep into the 40s. Sunday easily the best day of the weekend. Sunshine and 53 there. So if you got plans this weekend, Sunday's your day. We're back to rain, Matt, on Monday and another shot of cool air next week as well. Temperatures only near 40 Tuesday and Wednesday.